Jason Smith is the winner of the cooking shows Food Network Star and Holiday Baking Championship. Now the Grayson, Kentucky native will be back in the bluegrass for the Crave Food and Music Festival in Lexington. But first, he's sharing a quick and tasty treat, his summer peach cobbler jars. Well, Lord, honey, Jen, for Sugar Garden, how are you doing? Listen, I'm telling you what, I love a good peach dish in the summertime because we all know peaches mean summer is here. And, honey, I'm telling you what, they're so good, honey. They'll make even the cow popper so good. But peaches is one of my favorite things in the summer, and I love cobbler. So why not put those two into a new recipe instead of the cobbler that we all know and love, honey? I've come up with a peach cobbler that's in a jar. That's right. It crosses two of my favorite things, a luscious vanilla cake with fresh peaches. And I'm telling you what, honey, that crunch of the graham crackers will have you just begging for more. So let's get right into it because I love me some good peaches. So I have some wonderful fresh peaches here that I just picked up in South Carolina. As you all can tell, honey, I've been on the beach. I'm as dark, honey, as the wood on my counter, I'm telling you what. But I love good South Carolina peach. I listen, I love good peaches from anywhere, but South Carolina, Georgia, wherever you get your peaches, honey, you get your peaches. So I just peeled my peaches and cut them up into cubes. Now we're going to add some lime juice and we're going to add some brown sugar a little bit of bourbon and vanilla. Oh, Lord, say it ain't so funny, I'm telling you what. Just a little bit of lime zest, and then we're just going to stir that up and get all that juice to going. Honey, that's right, because the, when the sugar gets with those peaches, it makes all that wonderful peach juice come out, and then that little hint of bourbon in there make you rock, and then a rolling, honey, I'm telling you what. So I've just taken ordinary box cake mix and mix it up with a little extra vanilla and an extra egg and then i just pour it into my jars and we bake them and then when it comes out you poke it full of holes so you get all that juice right down to them cake and then you just take your peaches and put it right down in there over that oh lord honey listen i'm telling you what this is making me more hungry honey than a goat wanting a big old sack of corn <laughs> And you just fill those jars up with those peaches. And then, honey, we put us some little crushed up graham crackers because that'll give us the crunch that we're looking for. And these are cinnamon graham crackers. So that makes it taste just like peach cobbler where you put a little cinnamon in it. And then you just put that right over there, honey. And then we're going to add us some fresh whipped cream to it, honey. Do you like you some good whipped cream? I it's love whipped cream. I love me some. <laughs> Ooh, I love me some. And you just put that right on the top. Now, you have options with this. You can eat it right now, or you can just put your lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and then save it to go like on a picnic. You just put the lids right back on them, set them in the refrigerator, and wait till you get ready to go on that road trip or on to a picnic, honey, and you just take it out, and then you just dive right in there and get all the way down in there and get that big piece of cake out, honey. Oh, Lord. That ain't so, I'm telling you what. Mm, oh, mm, Lord, honey, that's a good listen. That right there, honey, would make a rooster crow at midnight. It's good, I'm telling you what. It's just delicious. And you can't go wrong with fresh pizzas this time of year. Quick, simple, easy recipe to impress anybody. And you can get this recipe and all the great recipes, honey, and the new Country Bling shirts, honey, and the candles and everything right from my website at southerncountrybling.com. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this wonderful summer peach cobblers in a jar. They're so good. I love it. It looks delicious. And I love, you can use mason jars for so many different types of, you know, desserts yeah. and dishes. So that's great too. You mentioned the candles. I love my candles. I've got the, the triple B one, but that yeah. one has become so popular. You've added some new ones. So tell us what's going on with the candle line. Well, honey, the triple B candle has been flying out the door, honey, like the chickens in the early morning time. I'm telling you what, everybody's loving them. So I decided to add more candles to the candle line. Honey, I've got two more coming out. One is called Upside Down Pineapple Cake, honey. I'm telling you what, it is so good you'll want to eat it. 
And then we've got one called Summer Teeny. That's right, Summer Teeny, honey. It smells just like a pina colada, and it smells just like you're right at the beach, honey. It's so good, I'm telling you what. And the greatest part about it is they're hitting the website this week, so you can get your candles, too. And, honey, I'm telling you what, that you can't go wrong with these candles because they're all organic. They're soy-based. You can even use the wax, honey, for lip gloss. They're so good. Jason, folks are going to be able to have a chance to meet you, to buy your candles, and see you in Lexington. The Crave Food and Music Festival is coming up next weekend. So how will people be able to experience that? Well, Lord, honey, it's just like this peach coffee. You're going to be craving a lot next weekend because I can tell you, out at the Crave Festival, I'm going to be hosting the food demo stage. And get this, everybody, this year for the first time, I'll be doing demos right alongside a lot of the other great chefs there. I've got three demos, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. I'm telling you what, you don't want to miss Crave this year because I've got some demos that you're just going to absolutely go crazy over. If you ain't never been to Crave, then you don't know what you're missing because we have a hooting and a hollering time. Honey, we get up there on that stage, you'll get to taste all the food that we're demonstrating. You'll get to meet all the great chefs from the Lexington and, around, and surrounding areas. But I'm telling you, Crave this year is going to be off the chain, honey. You don't want to miss Crave in Lexington next weekend. The 9th Annual Crave Food and Music Festival is at the Bluegrass Fairgrounds at Masterson Station Park. It's Saturday, July 30th from noon to 11 p.m. and Sunday, July 31st from noon to 7 p.m. For a complete rundown of events and discounted tickets, check out their website, CraveLexington.com.